So you've created your form for recording and tracking different information. So now we're going to uh, do a couple more things with forms that, so that you're aware of them. The first thing I want you to do is make a copy of this form. This is really helpful if you are, if somebody wants to share a form that you've created, they see it, they like it. This is one way to do it. Um, there's another way that uh, we'll explore later on, which, which is changing the URL itself. But this is a quick way, and then you can add them as a collaborator and send this to them. So the first thing is to make a copy. It'll show copy of, just leave that for right now because that's how you're going to show that you have done that. The next thing we're going to explore is themes. So the header right now, there's nothing up there really. Um, so you can choose an image. You can so just simply change the color scheme. There are a couple different font options, but only four. So um, that's all that they're providing. Their thought is that they want to make sure that um, instead of giving a ton of fonts, that the fonts that you use are, are consistent with that throughout your form. But let's look at the different image options. They created a bunch for you, so you can feel free to just explore here. There is an upload where you can create and upload your own theme. You can also search for photos and try one of the photos that's on here and adapt it to your um, your form but for right now I'm just going to grab a theme and add it here insert so it takes the background color scheme and matches it to the colors that are in that theme so that's why that changed so that's how simple it is to just add a little different um, look to your form by using this customized theme. For those of you that are a little more advanced, I'll add some information on creating your own headers and you can explore that portion of this lesson also. Take care.